so i have here with me uh, vishwanathan anand uh, you know he is uh, our great chess champion uh, one of india's greatest all time and iconic athlete and uh, you know i want to ask uh, anand today uh, anand uh, you know you have been at the top of your sport for decades and now you are a mentor to many young and uh, you know upcoming athletes now you exude this sense of immense calm but obviously you have uh, played under very high pressure situations which the younger generation are now dealing with uh, how do you pass on that sense of calm and poise to the you know the young athletes that you are now mentoring i share with them my experiences which essentially are about telling them how i really felt and so since my childhood playing chess when i was taught that um, uh, you should not end up disclosing um, any information you don't want to share with your opponent and you should keep a poker face so for instance this means that uh, if you're winning you should look calm and if you're losing you should look calm as well in both cases um, you're trying not to convey some information or confirm your opponent's opinion at least there is some let there be some uncertainty um and over time i have become reasonably good at this of course i'm anything but calm um uh, and i suffer a lot at the chess board and uh, that's part of the package but it's simply um a question of understanding yourself understanding when um, uh, you break down when the mistakes are likely to happen which is essentially the same thing phrased differently when do things go wrong it's when you lose control so how do you uh, try to keep control and uh, uh, methods to deal with this now just like in life uh, you can release the pressure you can release the tension by uh, moving fidgeting expressing yourself or you can keep it inside and you know try to breathe and uh, things so there are different ways and each to each is own but essentially that's what i try to share with them right now you just said something very important that no matter uh, how high how high performing we are and no matter how much we have been trained to keep a poker face sometimes we all break down now uh, have there been those moments of your breaking down and would you like to share with us if you think uh, that it is also important to speak openly and more publicly outside of uh, competition about you know the importance of coming out talking breaking down sharing um, experiences like depression or things like that yes this is also a cultural phenomenon as we we move into a world where you are expected to share more and more you will find that the incentives to do so are increasing so that also explains it as you know the mediums change and the way fans approach you change um you you will evolve you cannot uh, completely ignore that side of it but there is another aspect which is also as a person you change and i find that um i'm more, more relaxed about sharing certain things um discussing problems openly it's part of the package uh, again of being a public figure um and the key is always that you're comfortable with what you are doing uh that you're sharing what you want to share and not uh, being pushed around um and uh, thing so we are now in an era where you are expected to share a lot that i think explains a lot of it but um, it's a question of finding your comfort zone and sticking to that um and it's true that as you get older and let's go with the belief that you get wiser <laughs> you you invariably uh, think well what's the harm in sharing this uh, it doesn't make me a lesser person or something um as for things like uh, depression well i'm not in a depression but uh, how would uh, i share that i don't know that's kind of academic no i um, meant i meant uh, generally speaking you know a person if they have depression an athlete or if they are combating any kind of issues you know would you course. advise that's what i was trying to say i was saying say yeah. if i had something like that how much i would share well i would have to find uh, 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 something that um i was comfortable with because again the more personal it gets 
uh, you have to decide how much you want to share. Sure, uh, that's very instructive, of course. And uh, I want to ask you a question about, you know, you mentioned the athlete's comfort zone, how much he wants to share, how much he doesn't want to share. Now, each athlete has a buffer zone, a comfort zone, which is very important for them to be able to mm -hmm. uh, function properly. Now, uh, May I ask you about your wife, Aruna? Uh, I know you're a very private person and you haven't spoken much about her, but she has been your buffer in all the years that you have played. Uh, what, it is, what is it like to have this comfort zone, this buffer zone that allows you to, you know, function that, you know, to, to you know, be in your space when you play because you know other things are taken care of? It's a huge luxury to be able to um, depend on someone in that way that you can fully trust and um, look in all sports all sports people take a lot of time and effort uh, developing uh, you know entire teams to which they can offload everything they're not good at and focus on what they're very good at and executing it flawlessly uh, essentially that's how you push performance um, you get trainers you get physios you get psychologists, you get uh, business managers, you try to um, manage your affairs very, very intelligently. And I had the luxury of uh, being able to depend on my wife. Now, um, a smaller subset of sports people have also found that uh, their family members are very helpful in that way. Because it's a dual thing. They're, they're a family, but at the same time, they are uh, doing what otherwise you might have to go to some professional for. So. Um, it, it was a fantastic luxury for me when we started with this arrangement which was like a year or two into our marriage uh, I could immediately start to feel the effects and uh, I benefited very fast from it um, because suddenly I didn't have to book train tickets or plane tickets I didn't have to pack my luggage think of this think of it um, generally sports people are not good at that because at that point they focus rightfully should be on their game and so it's a huge luxury, but in a sense, my wife was able to uh, give me psychological insights, give me uh, personal uh, comfort uh, and uh, look after my business affairs. And so it, it's quite uh, amazing that I was able to depend on her to that degree, which I think is rare. That's wonderful to hear. Now, this is really my last question for you. Uh, we're talking about athletes, stress, their comfort zone. Now, as a father, uh, how important has it been for you to have, you know, to have that corner with you as a father where you do the little things, which uh, I know as a parent that works like a stress buster for me. And you, of course, uh, you know, uh, you've you know, you've handled stress at, and pressure at a very high level. So has that been like a stress buster? Definitely. I think also it's uh, it's a stage in your life when you realize that not all the joy comes from chess results and things like that. And I mean, I don't want to make it like I suddenly discovered it. Uh, certainly, I, it's something that you uh, naturally hew to, which is um, that your family is very important and, uh, uh, you know, that's what makes you happy. Uh, school friends, old personal connections, these things are very, very uh, valuable and important. Um, but it's true that uh, once you're blessed with the possibility of being a parent, uh, then you have to appreciate that. And in fact, my attitude has been uh, very much, um, these are golden years, but they will not return easily. I've got to take the time out and um, enjoy being a father. Um, husband, family member, whatever, but especially the father thing, because the kids grow very fast. And uh, they, I really had this strong sense that there's no use uh, of me looking back um, when, you know, my son is 25 or something and thinking, I wish I'd spent more time. It's one of those things. You, It's an opportunity that you have to seize in your life. Um, you don't think of in terms of... Uh, uh, health benefits or I got happiness out of this. That's not how you phrase the thing in your head. But uh, I have no doubt that um, uh, these things are very good for you. They're very good for you emotionally. They're very good for you psychologically. You benefit, no doubt. And it, uh, it, it can be a fresh boost that after many years of very high levels of ambition, 
suddenly you're able to detach yourself much more and uh, I don't think it affects performance at all.